here with a new pickup, a new review, and guys, I am so stoked that I got this pair. If you haven't seen my unboxing, link will be in the description. You can click here. Just go do it. Go check out my unboxing real quick. It's a real short video. Then come back here. Alright, so hopefully you saw the unboxing. Welcome back. Let's get straight into it. Check out the box. Nike ESB box. Kind of got this two-tone design here. Very cool. You open the box. It comes with special tissue paper. Here you see uh, these paint brushes and the red and blue. Paint shoes, not walls. SB AJ1. You know it's real. That's right, the Jordan 1 Nike SB Lance Mountain. Yes, mismatch pair. This shoe is probably my favorite release of the year. It is so creative, it's so iconic, and it kind of has a meaning to me. When I was a kid and I skated, I usually had two pairs of shoes, and one would get worn out more than the other. If you're a skater, you know that because your flip foot get, does a lot of work, and you might get holes in your flip foot, but your off foot, you don't get so much. So then you switch to your newer pair on your flip foot, and then by the time your right foot one is worn out, you could wear the new from the new pair it's confusing but if you're skater you know what I mean we used to mismatch our shoes all the time not just for style with the vans but also it had a purpose so that's where this came in place you have a bread one and a royal one which are two of the most iconic Jordans in my opinion right there with the bread and Concord 11 those two models and those four colorways are probably the most iconic Jordans ever so to put them on a Nike SB and do something real creative like this absolutely amazing so if you don't know about this pair this white upper it actually rubs off so while you're skating and you're flicking and you're scraping it against the grip tape this white stuff brushes off and it reveals a pair of bread ones and royal ones how crazy is that so there is black leather underneath this which is just guys that's crazy I, that's such a cool concept shout out to Nike for doing that concept it is so unique absolutely fantastic so this pair also came in a black where it was covered in black and the black would scrape off but I went with the white pair because I think it's a little bit more unique and guys look at the front that black to white contrast is absolutely beautiful this is what sold me because I was debating should I get the black or should I get the white then I saw the front I said yo I gotta get the white it's just way too unique for me to pass up I really dig it so that's the main reason why I went with the white pair over the black pair check out the tongue it's a nylon tongue and it says Nike SB instead of Nike Air and the laces are a little bit different than the Jordan 1 they're Nike SB laces so they're you know a little bit more rounded check out the up close looks you can see there's gonna be red underneath here black underneath here some more black red underneath here here's the Air Jordan logo there will be a red swoosh underneath here just wow guys this is just really 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 unique check out the royal pair here so as I said here it's gonna be blue royal blue underneath there you're gonna have a royal blue swoosh it's gonna look absolutely awesome take a look at the tongue Nike SB just absolutely great here's the sole you have a royal blue sole here's the red bottom on this one but they ain't Louboutins they ain't Louboutins but they got that red bottom shout out tell Louboutin who did this you know what I'm saying tell Louboutin who did this first red bottoms Air Jordan, his airness baby. When these released, I saw real interesting things on Instagram where people would design, you know, they'd scrape off the white or the black on it and do designs. That is so cool, guys. That is absolutely amazing. Just adds another level of creativity. You know, I'm thinking about putting Jaron Mod. Wouldn't that be sick? I'm gonna scrape it off, do it all real cool. I uh, saw a guy, you know, outline the Air Jordan Wings logo here. Kind of looked like a Keith Haring painting. It's just the level of creativity that is in this alone is great, but then it gives the community another step of creativity that we can express through our sneakers. It's just 
absolutely great. I will be picking up the black pair. They're a little bit expensive, so I'm kind of waiting, and I'm saving up because I need that black pair. I mean, I need both. I just think that they're so sick. It's one of those shoes that comes around every once in a while that 10 years from now, people are going to be like, yo, those release and I didn't get them? What was I thinking? I'm going to get both pairs and 10 years from now, I'm going to be like, yeah, I got both pairs. That's right, son. Not only is the Jordan 1 my second favorite Jordan model of all time, but it is my most wearable Jordan model of all time. The Jordan 1 is the shoe I wear the most out of any of my collections. The Jordan 1 is just one of the most iconic models. It's sneakers, and I'm so glad that Nike SB is collaborating with Jordan because back in the day, people used to skate in the Jordan 1. I don't go that far back, but you know, people who do go far that back know that the Jordan 1 was one of the more popular skate shoes. So that's just great that Nike SB and Jordan, even though they're two separate companies, they're collaborating and you know, giving us this. Not only is it OG colorway kind of, but this is just, these are crazy, son. I'm really glad. Shout out Nike. Shout out Jordan. Guys. Guys. Look at this. Look at that. I don't know what to say. I don't know. And in regular Nike SP fashion, we get extra laces. Red and blue. America, baby. Because I really enjoy that Nike SP always gives us, you know, an extra pair of laces. Shout out Nike SP. Keep doing what you're doing. Because let me tell you, you got people camping out for days for these shoes, let me tell you. All right guys, I did this just for you. Here are the different laces in the Jordan 1 SB. I think they still look fresh, but I'm still going with the black just because of that, you know, black to white contrast. You know, the, the blue to white and the red and white just doesn't do it enough for me. But you know, you never know if I, every once in a while, I might, you know, pop these in because they do look dope. I want to put these red ones in this one and this one and this one, but I'm too tired for that right now. So, but go follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing updates on these wears every time there's a scuff or every time I think that they look cooler. You know, during time, I'm gonna post it on Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram at Jaronmon, just like this channel right here, for other great pictures, including like updates on how these look, you know, in the near future. So, anyways, guys, that pretty much completes the review of the Nike SB Jordan 1 Lance Mount and Mismatch pairs. If you wanted your pair and you didn't get it, I really feel bad for you because this is just one of those sneakers that, you know, 10 years from now, this is gonna be one of the most sought after sneakers. So, um, I, I'm sorry if you didn't get your pair, but if you did, shout out to you. And if you got it just to sell it, no shout out for you. None. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace.